Hi everyone, Teddy Baldassar here. I am joined by a special guest. We have Franz Linder from Mito, the CEO. Thank you for making the journey. I'm excited to be looking at some new pieces and what we're gonna be doing, talk through some of the new novelties coming out. But to begin, I know there's people all over the map in terms of what their familiarity is with Mito. You've been CEO for some time. Say somebody has perhaps not looked at the brand or inspected it to a very fine degree. What would you say to encourage them to maybe take a closer look as we start to get a little bit further into the pieces here? Because I think they'll sell themselves and you know, say why they're great, but love to hear your perspective. You see, Mido is a traditional watch brand founded in 1918. And I think when you buy a Mido, first of all, you have a legacy of collections existing for decades. Each one with its own DNA. If you take Multifort, since 1934, we have this collection, very masculine, robust and uh, solid. Mm -hmm. And this is still the DNA of the collection today. 1944, Ocean Star, then Commander, an icon. So we have our four core collections have a very strong identity. Mido always focused on very high quality standards, including COSC. We were one of the first brands ever having real water resist watches. So we have a high request to quality and at the end we offer, I think, a, in my opinion, a cool looking watch at a very affordable price. Very good value for money products. I agree. And when you handle a Mito, and I do think once, there's probably a lot of people that have never handled one, but when you handle one, you're, you feel that there's no corners cut. And you're talking about this $800 to maybe, or $800 to say $2,500, mm -hmm. among the best in that price range. I will stand by that. One of the cornerstones for this year for releases, now we'll look at the Ocean Star collection. We have a few different models here. But this was one that caught on, but also I think it positioned itself so well within just the broader market of watches. A GMT with a true GMT movement for a watch that's under $1,500, I mean, that is incredible value. And for a true GMT, for those not familiar, so you have isolated function of this local hour hand. This is incredible to have that in this price bracket. But can you talk about this watch a little bit more and the, the whole process behind the GMT when you released it? You know, as I just said before, the Ocean Star family we have since 1944. And in the Ocean Star line, we have subfamilies. So we have the Ocean Star 200C, mm -hmm. which is a 200 meter water resistant piece with a ceramic bezel, very good, a very good deal. And as a, a complementary, we call it in our uh, small complication category, we added a GMT model. And for this, we used our uh, Calibre 80, means a mechanical automatic movement with a power reserve for up to 80 hours. Mm -hmm. And we added the GMT module. And we got uh, a really, as you just mentioned, outstanding value for money product, sapphire, both side anti-reflecting, mm -hmm. ceramic bezel, and on top of this GMT function. And it comes on top, actually, with a nice NATO strap, strap yes. which makes it even more eye-catching. Mm -hmm. So this was originally unveiled with, we had a few different dial colors. This is the new release with the blue and red configuration. I think it looks great. It's Thank you. Fantastic. Shifting over to, you talk about this heritage. We could talk about the tribute now. Now we saw previously, there was another iteration. I believe I was at the unveiling of that whole release. It was a few years ago. But this now is the new creation from the tribute line with this light blue dial, now just with a date as well. Can you talk a little bit more about this? Yes, uh, Ocean Star Tribute is, as the uh, name says, a tribute to the old Ocean Star models from the 1960s with a doomed sapphire yes. today. So with this vintage look, and here we had different models, and we said now we would like to add a new color style with this uh, gradient blue color, this mesh band. Okay. So as I said, within the Ocean Star family, we have basically the contemporary designs, and here we have the vintage line of our Ocean Star. So aluminum insert, you're also dealing with a case that is much smaller. So we had 44 millimeters, That's this is 40 and a half. 40 and a half, exactly. So, and I would say it wears smaller than that on the wrist. I would say it wears closer to like a true 40, if not a 39. So you're really getting that vintage wearing dimension. Yeah. And so if that's something you're going for, want something for a smaller wrist, I would go with this from the Ocean Star collection. 
Now, I would say something that you mentioned as the other pillar is the 200C. Yep. This is a basic Ocean Star collection of Mido, as I said, as a, with a, temp, a contemporary design. But all you need in a good diver watch, ceramic bezel, anti-reflecting glass, a, way, a nice wave pattern on mm -hmm. the dial, strong superluminova. And here now we have different models. And what I personally really like a lot is uh, easy to adjust diver yes. extension. And typically when you see that on the fly adjustment, it's either, okay, you have, you know, most brands are going to just go for the traditional, you know, holes in, in the adjustment, but this is on the fly, no tools needed. And it's, it's great in this price range too, you're talking about, you know, a thousand dollars here. So I mean, yep. it's, it's fantastic. The other pillar you mentioned was looking at the multi-fort. Now there's a ton of history here. We have a couple different models. One, just traditional three hand, one's also coming with a chronometer. But you mentioned as this is such a crucial part to Mito's history. Could you tell us a little bit more about that, you know, that design and why the multi-fort is important for the brand and showcase some of these new pieces? So multi-fort collection is uh, all this name we are still using. Actually, all our names are registered names. That's why you also find them on the dial. It's mm -hmm. not just a marketing name. It's really a dedicated name for decades. So in 1934, when Multifort was launched, it was the first watch combining four elements. Automatic, I mean self-winding. Mm -hmm. It was shock resistant, anti-magnetic, and I think the most important factor, absolutely water resistant. Why? In 1934, Mido invented and patented a system called Aquadura cork sealing system. Hmm. And it's as simple, as genius as a system can be. So what they did is the crown opening where the pin goes to the movement mm -hmm. is a very delicate part for water leaking. So they have inserted a piece of uh, natural cork treat it in a secret way to keep it moist, because hmm. only when it's moist, it protects. They pull in the crown and it's absolutely water resistant. And you can, can imagine this like a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. If you pull out the cork half, what happens? It's still tight. So sometimes people forget to push back. It wasn't screwed. So very simple, but very efficient. And obviously, in those days, water resistance was a major issue. And Mido was really one of the first brands offering this. <laughs> and with the Multifort, the ambition was really to produce a very reliable, functional, solid watch. And it was the beginning of the worldwide expansion. <laughs> and that's why it's a lot of history in this collection. And if you look at today's pieces, yes. It's still a very functional watch. Mm -hmm. Very, as you mentioned, I think a very nice finish, which fits very well on the wrist, comfortable to wear, but very functional. Superluminova points on a two-level dial. Yes, you can see that. Then we have this uh, brushed uh, gradient dial, giving a different color depending on the angle on, on your wrist. Very important, again, the so sapphire is anti-reflecting treated on both sides. Mm -hmm. So the lisibility is top. Yes. So we have everything you need for a watch, which is very useful on your wrist. And of course, I think also cool, cool looking. And we'll, be in, we'll ensure that we get some of the detail shots because it's all about the details with Mito. Yeah. Like, I mean, you look at some of the cases of the ocean stars, you see this, you know, this hairline bevel on the side of the case. For these, the dial is, is really striking. You have this kind of vertical kind of brush pattern and then there's recessed areas for the superluminova. You can even see that there's kind of a polish to the outline. It's very well done. The other thing that we have here, so these are 42 millimeter cases, yes. correct? You also have a chronometer version and a standard version. Exactly. Chronometers are very important to Mito. Now I remember when they were, this was public information, that Mito was a top five brand with producing chronometers. And people are like, that's insane, really? They don't have it as public data anymore, but I know precision, chronometers, 
You don't have to necessarily do it. I don't think people are necessarily requiring it, but it's nice to see it, especially in this price range. Why do you do it? And why do you since since 1934, you know, reliability, quality was, uh, you know, clear direction and ambition of the brand. So when the COSC was founded, Mido, right from the beginning, was one of the brands certifying movements. And the ambition is we want to offer the best quality we can. You know, the COSC certification is all about precision. It's an official standard valid for all brands. It's the same. And we said we want to offer the best, so we really pay attention to quality. This has been important to us. And yes, you are right, Mido was always in the top ranked COSC certified uh, brands, and we still do it. So you haven't, you haven't pulled it back and at all? And in all yeah. our four core collection, always the top line is equipped with COSC. Whether it's Ocean Star, Multifort, Baroncelli, Commander, that's how the collections are organized and structured. Let's do something a little bit of a change of pace here. So you have a lot of tradition, conventional types of design DNA, which of course is going to be rather mass appealing. Something very unique on the table though. This is the first time I've seen this in person. You have this Day of the Dead version. And I think to set the stage here, maybe we talk a little bit about, you know, the different markets that Mito is very popular in and what inspired this piece. And then let's talk about this dial because it's crazy. Also, you're going to want to see this with the lights turned off, so you know, stay tuned. Yeah, Mido, you know, the main, main markets for Mido are in Asia. But also traditionally, Mido is very strong in Latin America. Actually, Mido comes from Spanish, yo Mido, I measure. Mm -hmm. And in Mexico, Mido is the leading Swiss brand. Hmm. And since a couple of years, we do special editions, limited editions, to celebrate Dia del Muerte, which is a big, a big thing in Mexico, mm -hmm. with celebrations and activities. And uh, for this year, we did a new one in the Commander family, which is the most popular line in Mexico. And we take Aztec symbols and this Dia del Muerte designs, which are used. And what is cool here, all you see in color is superluminova. Hmm. So at night time, when it's a watch was under light, you really have this design looking at you and make it really, really special. And it's the first time now this year we decided, because we always had demand from many markets, we said we will sell a few pieces of this 500 pieces limited edition outside of, of Mexico, and it's really a very eye-catching piece. It's very striking. And all of those different colors, you were able to identify certain superluminova to match the color yeah, of the yeah, dial, so yeah, it will yeah. look the same color in yeah. both light and yeah, dark. Yeah, yeah. Was that a challenging process to do that? You know, it's, it's not the first time we did it, mm -hmm. but it's the first time we did it with so many colors. I mean, you have to see it to understand, and a cool detail. Mm -hmm. So the dead head yes. you see here, the teeth is the it's big funny plate. Placement. So it's, it's really is yeah. a, a, the layout is very, very unique. So it's a real special piece you can see here. And the finishing is great too. Even on the sapphire, you can kind of see that you know, edge of the sapphire, you know, yep. which is finely cut. I was surprised how much more I like this in person than I did when I first saw it. So. All right. I don't know if I could personally wear it because I'm a little bit kind of boring, but that's a pretty cool watch, no doubt. You can you can wear every everything. <laughs> that's your privilege, no? That's true. I'm very <laughs> spoiled with this job. <laughs> Lastly, let's look at the Commander. So this is a newer creation from the Commander line, but also an important pillar for the brand. Yeah, Commander is is the most iconic line. It's a classic. So it's a vintage model of the Commander. We produce it since 1959 non-stop, so Commander original. And here we have the more contemporary execution, so it's the same system as we have in Ocean Star with contemporary mm -hmm. and vintage. And what is special here, it is a big date indication. Mm -hmm. So here we are also using the 80 hour power reserve movement, our calibre 80, and we added a big date. 
and that's basically really something very special in our price range and you can see it's a very pure design. So Commander is large opening, very functional and now we are adding this green dial model to our Commander Big Date line and when you look at the watch you basically only see the dial. So very large opening, very functional watch mm -hmm. but still a very nice uh, finish and very nice timeless piece. So this, if you look at the vintage Commander, it has that classic silhouette without you know, the lugs, the tr traditional lugs, it really is just that circular case. What you're doing here is you have similar to that, you have these lugs that really shoot straight down. So it creates that, but also more of a modern architecture, as you mentioned. And the bracelet is very well done. You have these nice polished you know, center links that are in here. Uh, so attention to detail is absolutely there. This is a 42 millimeter case, yep. 42 millimeter case. And you talk about all these different markets. I mean, in terms of sizing, um, like how do you look at that? I mean, do you, like what I've seen a lot of with um, just people that are looking at the brand is there's a lot of desire for smaller cases. Uh, you know, what makes you decide on a certain case as you're thinking about sizing? Middle never went extreme. You know, we didn't follow these trends where watches couldn't be big enough. Yes. Uh, we are not running down to 36 millimeter cases for men's now. So our products for, for, for men are normally between 38 up to 44. Mm -hmm. And in different collections, normally we have two sizes, not necessarily the same design. So if we take the Commander or, or, or Regional, we are at 37, but that's because it's, it has always been 37. Mm -hmm. But then for our classic pieces, we start at 38. For sporty pieces, we start at 40. But, you know, we are not planning to, to change this approach because our watches are made to last for decades. Good quality, I guess, uh, a design which really can outlive fashion trends. So that's, that's how we, we work. We work within our 38 to 44 diameter range. Mm. Some countries require bigger ones, others smaller. All over, I think we, we cover the, the, the needs of our customers. So Franz, this was fantastic. And thank you for showcasing all these pieces. For those that have not looked at this brand, I would recommend to do so. There's a lot of people that say, you know, where should I start with my first wash? Where should I look for just a no-nonsense brand that just produces a good product for the money? I think Mito should be on your list, and I think this is a good representation of what you're doing. I like what you're doing from the design perspective, so thank you for taking the time to walk us through the product. Thank you. Absolutely. Until next time. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody.